morning everybody, Monday morning, are you ready for a bit of a live workout, ready to get your week started um, on a high, please say hi if you're joining me this morning for a bit of Monday morning motivation through the power of exercise, you know it's great, um, you know after you do it you'll feel really good, you might get a bit of a sweat on, it's a little bit of a warm morning but hey, okay, so we're going to get warmed up, big arm circles, nice deep breaths, good stuff, and circle your arms forward, what better way to start the week off, it's a nice sunny day, as you can see by the um, sun coming through the windows, okay, big step side to side, um, as with all the workouts, please listen to your body. Um, if there's anything that feels uncomfortable, don't do it. And um, I'll try and give you different options. So um, the workouts always should be suitable for everybody. You don't need any equipment. You can use the edge of a settee for a couple of the exercises. If you've got a mat, great. And let's get going. Okay, raising your arms up. Keep your arms nice and strong while you're giving them a wave about. Keep breathing. Excellent. Okay, take it into a little jog. You can keep marching if you want to. Give your hips a little bit of a wiggle side to side. Just 20 minutes of work here we're going to do. We'll have a little stretch at the end. Don't miss the stretches off because that's an important part of the workout too. Okay, raising your arms up, lifting your knees nice and high, bringing those elbows down, big stretch in between. Good, and then just having a little twist side to side. Make sure you're turning your heels, make sure you're turning through your hips. Big reach out there. Good stuff, we'll do four more of these. Okay, just march it there, give your wrists a little bit of a circle. We're gonna be doing five different exercises. We're gonna be up and down naturally a little bit, so we're gonna use the mats. Um, 40 seconds of each, and then we're gonna do three rounds. Might put a little bit of a finisher in there. Okay, so first exercise, we're gonna do squats. You've got the option of having, adding a jump in. Before we start the 40 seconds, make sure when you're squatting, that weight is in your heels. You should be able to wiggle your toes. Not, you're not bringing your weight over your knees. Keep it back. So you're working here. Okay. Are we all ready on that note? Squats. I'll do the basic squats first round, then I'll add the jumping. 40 seconds. Off we go. So shoulders back. You can do whatever you want with your arms just to help you with the move. Good. So tummy pulled in, shoulders back. Breathing deeply, good, push through those heels, squeeze your glutes at the bottom, your bum muscles, give them a good squeeze before your eyes. These 40 seconds are going to go fast each time, I can tell. Good, we've got five more seconds left, squeeze them, couple more, and last one, good stuff. Okay, grab your mat, we're going to go on to crunches next. Okay, so keeping your feet on the floor, um, taking your shoulders. Oh, I've got my step prepared. Okay, shoulders back, chin off your chest, and squeeze in. Squeeze and breathe. You don't need to come all the way up. You should just be creating a squeeze between your ribs and your hips. Keeping it all in the abs. Keep that chin lifted. Keep breathing. Good stuff. How are we doing? Are you feeling your abs wet? You should, if you're giving them a good squeeze, feel those tummy muscles working. Good, you've got five more seconds here. Squeeze, last couple. Oosh. And well done. Okay, back on your feet again. Now, this is the one we can do on the floor, or you can use the edge of a settee. You can do burpees and star jumps. I'm going to show you the version on 
on the edge of this settee. I'm using a step. Okay, so, nice deep breath. Are we ready? Hands down, jump out, jump in, star jump. Okay, option here, you can do them on the floor, you can do them on a higher table. You can just do a single arm star jump. But keep breathing, keep them strong. Working your agility and your flexibility in these ones, as well as getting your heart rate up. Good, just take them nice and steady. You might speed them up for the second round. Do two more. And last one. Whew. Good, should be feeling warmed up after those. Okay, back on the floor again. Oblique crunches, elbow to knee crunches. Okay, different levels of these again. You can keep your feet on the floor or take them off. I'll show you both in this 40 seconds. Okay, so aiming your elbow for the outside of your knee, creating a twist um, in this one. Good stuff. Now, if you want to take your feet off the floor, you can push your leg out as you do these. I've got the blooming step in front of my feet, but push them out nice and strong. The main point is this twist. Keep breathing. We'll do two more all the way around. Last one. Good work. Okay, back on your feet again. We're going to do some jabs. Oh, it's a nice it's quite a nice Monday morning workout, isn't it? Okay, we're going to do high jabs, so we're going to be punching up. You've got your left foot in front. We're punching out strong. Off we go. So, nice and high, straight and strong with the arms. Getting a good twist down. Your full body, remember, your full body should be turning. Your hips should be turning. That back heel. Moving it. Good. And those arms, of course. Nice and strong, power them out there. Good, corner to corner of your room, whichever room you're doing your workout in. Hopefully you've got enough room to punch up. Excellent, five more seconds, nice and strong. That's three, two, one. Good, there's your five. What a nice five for a Monday morning. First Monday morning of August. Okay, we're ready with the squats. I'm going to add a jump in this time. Let's go. So, if you want to add a jump, join me. If not, you can just stick to the standard squats without the jump. Good. He's still keeping his shoulders back. He's still keeping that weight in your heels. Oh, I'm adding a reach in as well. Why not? Good stuff. These will get your heart rate up just a little bit more. And you might feel them a little bit more of a burn. Good. Five more seconds, couple more. Last one. Great. Good. Okay. Get that mat out. Crunches are your next one. Okay. I'm gonna keep my feet on the floor for these ones. Just lifting those shoulders. And breathing deep. Going for the squeeze. Are we ready? Deep breath. Off we go. Squeeze them out. Remember, with all exercises, quality is always better than quantity. So don't think you have to do 500 of everything. Just make sure you're doing them all well with good technique. It makes all the difference. Good. Squeeze those abs. Think about the muscles you're working. That does actually activate them a little bit more. We're going to do two more crunches here. Well done. Back on TV. I don't actually know why I talk when I'm doing crunches because um, I'm aware my voice goes a bit funny. Okay. Beppy stars. I'll show you them on the floor this time. Why not? Move that back. Okay, shoulders back. You can do them on the edge of the settee. Wherever you want to do them. Let's go. Jumping out. And let's start jump. 
good. Multi-directional move, getting it all working, but keep it nice and strong. Again, strong arms when you do a star jump. You're working your shoulders there. Breathe deep and keep them going. 10 seconds. Oh, I've got time for two more. And last one, finish strong. Good, get your heart rate a little up a little bit more if you do them on the floor. Okay, grab your mats. Oblique crunches. Do you know I'm just gonna move that step out the way so I don't kick it. Hopefully you can still see me. Okay, so feet off the floor or on the floor, however you wanna do these. I'll push my leg out this time. I'll be able to push it out properly. So if you are pushing your leg out, push that heel forward. You'll also be working your lower abs and your hip flexors. If not, you can just stick to the ones where you put your feet down. That's no problem at all. Just do what feels comfortable for you. As long as you're challenging yourself, that's all right. Good stuff. We'll do two more here. Last one. Whew. Okay, onto your feet. Fifth of the exercises, what was it? Jabs, of course. Okay, left foot in front. Are you feeling good? Those endorphins kicked in, yeah. <sighs> Deep breath. Okay, punch them out. 40 seconds. Off we go. Nice and strong. Twisting. Good, remember power's coming from your body in the punches, so really turn your hips into it. Use that body. The more muscles you're working, the more calories you're burning. Good, keep them strong, punch them out there. Good, 10 seconds. Oh, I'm breathing a little bit heavy, I hope everyone else is. Not just me. <laughs> Good stuff, keep it going for four, three, two, one. Well done. Good work. Okay, we've got one more round of these to go. And um, yes, we will have time to put a bit of a finisher on there. I'll think what it's gonna be. Any suggestions? Okay, squats. I'm gonna do the squat jumps. Feel free just to do the steady squats. Shoulders back, tummies in. Let's go. 40 seconds. Of your finest for the last round of these. Give it that extra push if you can. Good work. Good. Just imagine how smug you're going to feel on a Monday morning at half past eight and you've already done a workout. You just got to do that every day. Reach out, squat low. Nearly there. Three more. Two more. Last one. Whew, I do like that squat jump. Okay, let's go onto the mat. Oh, oh. If you could see what's behind this camera around here, it's like a junk shop. Just sling everything down there. Okay, crunches. Shoulders back, chin up. Are we ready? Let's go. Squeeze them. I'm not going to talk in these ones. Oh, I can't keep quiet. Keep squeezing. Good. Lift the shoulders. Lift your chin. Good stuff. Quality, not quantity. Make each crunch count. Okay, we're nearly there. Three more. Last two. And last one there. Good work. Back onto your feet again. Oh, it's the bed piece stars. Okay, so using the edge of the settee or the floor, it's up to you. If you've not tried them on the floor, give them a go. Okay, shoulders back, tummy in. Let's go, 40 seconds. Strong arms. Give them 
a go. You might find you get better at these the more you do them. Practice makes perfect. You might even find, end up liking them. I love them. But that's just me. <laughs> Good work. We're going to do two more. And last one. Ooh. Whew, well done. I still huff and puff all the way through them though. You're not alone if you're huffing and puffing. Okay, oblique crunches. Elbow to knee, we're working across your abs here. Okay. Are we ready? Feet off the floor. Go for it. All the way around to that elbow. Push that leg out nice and strong. Good, go for that twist. Good, lift and twist. Keep that leg low. If you're feeling your lower back, if you're pushing your leg out, then keep your feet on the floor. Good, nice and strong. 10 seconds to go. Come on, all the way around. Twist that a little bit further than you think you can. We'll do three more. Two. Last one. Whoo, okay. On to your feet, final of the five. High jabs. Left foot in front. And we're ready. 40 seconds, 40 seconds will be finest. Off we go, punch them out. If you don't like high jabs and there's another punch you like, do that one instead. Just 40 seconds of your best punching. Good, remember to turn, keep that back heel off the floor when you're punching. Good stuff, keep them strong. Power up those arms. Get that heart rate going. Use that body, 10 more seconds here. Good work. Last three, two, one, and rest it there. Well done. Okay, shall we finish? Let's have a plank finish. Okay, different plank options. Just going to do it once. Plank like your life depends on it. No, obviously do it if you're not. I shouldn't have said that. Do it if you're not feeling great in it. If your back's not good, put your knees down. Otherwise, come on, let's see how long we can hold it for. Elbows under your shoulders, plank position. Let's hold it. Okay, so I'll give you various options. If you're holding it, if, if a 40 second plank is just pretty okay to you, you can either add those step outs, keeping your hips still, or you can add a punch, keeping your hips still. Go on, challenge yourself, don't choose the easy option. If you feel it in your back, drop your knees, but keep your tummy pulled in. That's completely fine. Okay, if you're just sweating and thinking, hurry up, um, just hold it there, hold it strong, keep your abs in tight. It's one of those ones I forgot to look at the clock. Okay, let's hold it another 10 seconds. Pull everything in, remember shoulders strong, legs strong, abs strong. Three, two, one, and you can rest it there. Well done. Okay, let's just come back, sitting onto the heels, just open your knees a little bit wider and reaching out, having a stretch there, just rest your head onto the floor, breathe deep. You might still be holding your plank, but do these after if you are. Personally, I think anything longer than a minute of holding the plank is really, really boring, um, so... But it's up to you, each to their own. <laughs> okay, just bringing knees together. Let's put one foot in front of the other, nice and wide. Push your hip forward and reach up. Breathe deep. You should feel a good stretch right down the front of your body here on one side. Good, keep those arms strong and straight. And then switch it onto the other side. Sometimes stretches, um, 
aren't necessarily relaxing. These are quite um, challenging. Your muscles are working hard to stretch out sometimes. So you might not feel any cool. They might feel quite warm while you're doing them. Power those arms up. Push that hip forward. And deep breath there. Good stuff. Okay, slowly coming up onto your feet. Let's have a hamstring stretch. Resting on your bent leg. Pushing your hips back. Here. Don't miss off your stretches if you're walking away. <laughs> They're important. Reach down if you need to. They're the best bit of the workout. <sighs> okay. And onto the side. Resting, make sure you're resting on your bent leg, not pushing onto your knee, other knee. Reach down if you want to increase that stretch. <sighs> Good, give your legs a shake. Okay, pushing your, reaching your arms forward. We'll grab your elbows here. Pull them apart. Breathe deep, you feel a good stretch across the top of your back and your shoulders doing this one. Good, and then reaching round, pushing your chest out, squeezing your shoulder blades together, lift your chin if it feels comfortable. <sighs> oh, can you see all the sweat coming down my neck? I may not get, get red and bright red puffy cheeks, but I sweat a lot. Okay, shoulders, give you a circle, give your arms a shake. We're going to finish with a reach down and a big breath in. Feel really proud of yourself. And breathe out as you bring your arms down there. Well done, everybody. What a great start to a Monday morning. May your week ahead be a good one. Try and come back and do a little bit more exercise. Um, you could repeat this every day or you could do something of your own. Whatever you're doing, have a great week. I will see you all again very soon. Don't forget to comment. And also, just before I go, um, all the workouts are saved on my page and on YouTube. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and feel free to share any of my posts. Okay, have a great week. Bye.